All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Thursday. It means we are playing Predator Plants, but there's not too many Predator Plants. There's only three of them, so I had to go ahead and get a little bit creative, splash some things. So you're kind of seeing some evil storms here, but you understand. You understand that. Uh, you're probably wondering uh, what we're doing today. We're tagging with Tiago. Token Black Yu Gi Oh guy is not here. Uh, he doesn't really have access to YGR Predator Pro, so he wasn't able to tag, which is fine. You know, that's why the league is going to be on, uh, of course, uh, Dual network, so that's all good there. Looks like our opponent decided to go ahead and play fucking PK Fire, because that's totally what we want to face, and uh, just a little fun game of tag is some freaking top tier shit. So, yay. Just Dante, go ahead and summon another Dante. Mill some more? I mean, go to town on your ass. Like, yay, PK Fire. Yay. Well, it's not even, probably not even PK Fire. It's probably just Phantom Knights, but. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to determine if it's PK Fire or just Phantom, or just Phantom Knight because it's Dante, you know? Like, Dante needs to get hit. Like, Dante needs to get hit. Wow, Break Sword? Okay. So, if I still have just a 3000 Break Sword? My god. Right. Got Revival. He's got monsters attached to them. So, for multiple searching plays and shenanigans, like, it's, it's gonna be a fun one. So, yeah, talking about you guys, I wasn't able to join, so. Like, so, we're, play, we're playing uh, Predator Plants. Uh, I haven't seen a deck get voted on more uh, here on Daily Duel than that freaking deck. Like, holy crap, there was just so much of the percentage of the deck chosen was that. Like, holy crap, I, uh, that kind of hurt, I'm assuming. But I bet Tiago's probably going to go ahead and search for Knight and then summon Knight, summon uh, back here this uh, Photon Dragon, but nope, nope, go ahead and get hit with the Fog Blades. Like, this man opened up with Dante, opened up with Breakstar, he opened up with everything. So you can just go ahead and get fucked up. How's that sound? Ah, Gospel, yep. So, I guess he's like, no, fuck you, banish that fucking fog blade. Like, Alright, Tiago's starting to run out of resources now. Like, that's the problem. Let's go ahead and tribute all. Go ahead and send him back your galaxy eyes. And, uh, I don't know, galaxy eyes handle break sword or handle Dante? I guess Dante's not really doing anything. Really. But, yeah. Alright, those two turn into. Ooh, galaxy eyes cypher dragon. So, go ahead, go ahead and take it and turn your shit into galaxy eyes cypher dragon. And then stack, uh, I'm assuming stack, because if you take an XC monster, you go ahead and just slap on full armor. So that's pretty powerful. Yeah. Might have been best actually to take the Break Sword, because freaking Break Sword, of course, when it's destroyed, it's going to go ahead and summon the monsters back. So that's kind of annoying to deal with, to say the least. Um, so, uh, yeah, Predator Plants. There's only like three monsters. So what are you going to do? Well, of course, we're going to do Star Venom. Now you make Star Venom. Two dark monsters on the field. They have to be on the field. Therefore, I was like, well, what are some dark monsters I can easily summon to the field? Evil Swarm. <laughs> I can just go summon Caster, summon one of my Evil Swarm monsters. There you go. You know, Fusion Substitute, because, you know, I might as well run Fusion Substitute over Polly, because I can't use Polly. It has to be in my, on the field. Therefore, uh, Fusion Substitute is the better choice. Go ahead and fuse it up, and uh, and there you go. So, uh, while we may not get as many predator plant plays, because there's only three of them, you know, uh, we'll definitely be trying to bust out that star venom. That's the least that we can do, right? That's the least that we can do. So, go ahead and summon uh, the f the brick sword dies, and I believe this is attacked three times. At least it can attack your opponent's monsters three times, or. I don't remember. It seems like he attacked multiple times. It seems like he at least attacked twice. Because he killed the break sword. Oh, it can make two up to two attacks. Okay. Not three, two. So attack, attack, attack. So, uh, that was pretty powerful. Tiago yeah, definitely turned the duel around, but, uh, uh Tech was going to go ahead and catch this Regeki, of course, because there's no way that Tiago's not going to catch this Regeki. Go ahead, Regeki. Mm, Regeki. Oh, blue eyes again. Uh, I'm getting real sick of tired of seeing blue eyes. <laughs> like I, 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 I am really, it's, it's really getting there. I see blue eyes all the time. Blue eyes and dark magician. Blue eyes and dark magician. They, they are getting really overplayed. <laughs> like this fucking hype out of those two decks. But blue eyes is good. Yeah, I, I can see, I can see blue eyes winning worlds. I can, I can see blue eyes winning worlds, especially with uh, depending on what's hit. Yeah. Or PK fire. Or PK fire. So I'll go ahead and gospel. Well, even if we had a deck, you can't gospel block all of them from destruction, or is it just one of them? Is it dragon? Is it, mon is it monster or monsters? Monsters. So yeah, yeah. 
well, besides, besides Galaxy Soldier, everybody else would be like, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so go ahead and use his gospel and summon blue eyes, because gospel is just mm 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 mm. -mm. <laughs> yep. Right, summon, get your search, and then go ahead and go into your, I guess your blue eyes, uh, secret spirit, and then tag out. You know, you know the shenanigans. You know the shenanigans. Freaking blue eyes. So simple. <laughs> yep. Get your summon into spirit. Yep. But the problem with going to spirit is that we have monsters stronger than you. Go ahead and kill Galaxy Soldier. It kind of really depends on your background because I can only just bait. I could really I could just go into battle phase, attack you. You're gonna attack it out. That's fine, you know. And then just attack with uh with dark. Well, attack with dark matter. Then you'll tag out. Then attack with dark matter. Like either way, you're gonna get it. So that's not the greatest of plays right now. So we got some of the predator plants, but I'm not sure. Uh, of course we're running Evil Storm, so I can go into Ophion. I don't remember what the other guy was playing. He was playing, uh, PK shit, so. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go into Wrath. Like, I think, I think going into Wrath would be totally fine. Just summon, summon, make a Wrath. Well, maybe hold on to this. Cause this could be used for later, so just summon, summon. No, no, this is more generic, so this and this. Summon, summon, go into Wrath. I mean, everybody attack, of course, cause I'm gonna attack, attack. How do you get additional attacks, or do you just always have additional attacks? Uh, this card is blah 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 blah. If you attach and see the token on this card, this card can make up the two attacks on much turns up. I guess I'll go ahead and activate my effect to give you your Dante back. I don't believe there's any Burning Abyss in there. Okay. Sure, tagging out? That's fine. <laughs> That's totally fine. Tag out now, because I'm going to run your ass over. Yeah, it's nice that you can go ahead and summon your frickin' big old dragon, but you only have 3,000 booty, so. Full, full, yeah, I can easily attack over that. Like that, that's nothing. That's nothing. So, so I'll just go attack, attack. Well, it's up the monster, so I just be attack, 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 attack. Uh, I don't believe that I have room to run cowboy in here. No. But we'll go into wrath because I do, I'm running some bottom shenanigans. You know, the good old space time trap hole and shit like that. So. Oh, I bet freaking Tiago's gonna be like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, it's Predator Plants. That's it's Dark Monster. I could right now. I could straight up go into Star Venom, but there's just no point, you know? Like, oh, I can take out Silver Eyes. Like, nah, I'm okay. I got some of my Predator Plants, so that's good. So hopefully they'll get useful. This one's, uh, one of them is like really good. One of them like, so lets me attack all of them. Once it turns into one base of Yeah, this one. Put it and then. If it's two or higher, then drop it down to one, and then I destroy it. So, they're like, it's a nice enabler. Fly Hell is good. Uh, Grossira is okay. Okay, so Banisher Gospel, well, it's fine now. Go ahead and attack again. <laughs> like, both of these decks are really good. Like, this is, this is gonna be a difficult duel. This is gonna be, this is not gonna be a walk in the park. This is going to be a difficult duel because Blue Eyes is good and PK. Of course, PK is good. Like it's it, uh, like those are the two decks that I think can win worlds: PK and Blue Eyes. Those two decks. It's God. It is so good. So good. So strong. So floaty. So good. So everybody attack and then main phase two. I'll go ahead and take these two and turn them into a wrath, which may be, may or may not be able to hold off freaking what's his face from making multiple freaking PK plays because. There is, uh, there are some Phantom Knights. There is some Phantom Knights. <laughs> so we already know the shenanigans that will ensue. So we will just go ahead and go into Wrath. Boop. Go ahead. So Mr. Phantom Knight guy, you only got three cards in your hand, but shit, that three can easily turn back, right back into six. You got one, two, you got the sword, like you are, you are, you are just fan fucking fantastic right now, man. No, that's fine. But at least you already use your normal summon. So I'm assuming break sword. And as soon as you go into break sword, I can just be like, FaceTime. Uh, we'll do space time. Bye. 
You know what the sad thing is? Is that he still has plays because he can go ahead and use the revival. Then he can, uh, if he has his rank up spell, like, does he have these other rank? He might have his rank up spell. Like, if that if that's the case, oh, he can search for it. Right, 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 right. right. Oh, PK, you are, you are disgusting. Duh. Looks like I can only use Wrath once per turn, only once that turn, though. That sucks. Ugh, oh, look at that. I stop his plays, and he still has plays. Oh, go ahead and go into Dark Rebellion. Yep. Detach, go ahead and cut in half. And then run over this. Run over this. This, attack this. Look at that. Fucking PK, man. Like, just so floaty. Like, just like this search, and this plus, and this search, and this grab this, and this search this, and this plus this, and this is like, oh my god. God, I wish this deck would just go away. Like, holy crap, I hate PK, because it's just so fucking good, especially with Dante. Like, his mills were just so mwah. It's like, oh yeah, that trap card and two PK monsters. Like, all right, all right, all right. And of course, that first turn fucking Terra Top. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if fucking Terra Top gets hit. That fucking one card fucking uh, uh, rank four play is just so good too. Another Dark Rebellion? I thought maybe you were going to turn this into like Dark Requiem, but it looks like you're just going to go ahead and rank up and turn it into Dark Rebellion again, detach and still kick everybody's ass, so that's great. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you want to rank up during our turn? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tech Cypher. Hell yeah, I've been in Hospital. Yep, Tech Cypher. Bring that ass here, boy, nigga. You think that you're all hot because they're fucking Yuto? Bitch, we kite. Like, of course, and then crash, and then... Oh, no, because you summoned them back with your fucking Phantomite trap, so you're banished. That's, that's, mm, mm, that's good. So, I'm assuming that this is his quick play spell, which means that he can rank up in Dark Requiem, which means that it might not be good to go ahead and use Galaxy Cypher to try to dodge, because he'll just hop out the way, you know? Then, if you don't do it, then how are you going to deal with him in general? If you do it, and then he turns into Cypher, then he can't use his effect, Cause he's not on, cause it's not during your turn. I, wow, so you're just gonna play it now. All right. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and turn that into Requiem, but then we could just crash. You could just special summon and then crash. Oh, never mind. we activate the monster effect. So you might not wanna activate a monster effect then. It'd just be easier if you just go ahead and crash the blue eyes and then tap with the cypher and then do everything that you wanna do in main phase too. Just go ahead and crash. Should be best to crash. Yeah, I don't feel like telling him. If he, if he messes up, he messes up. But to get generally, Tago is good at this. Yeah, see, I think it's best to just crash. I wonder if Tago has any bottom wish or anything along that in his deck, or his Wrath just pretty much useless during Tago's control. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 2700. <laughs> My Predator plan can fuck up a blue eyes. To fuck up a mean blue eyes. <laughs> yep, that, that's power too. Go ahead and get yourself uh, some galaxy eyes, because why not? You pitch blue eyes? Oh, you pitch spirit. He has ultimate in his hand. We got a wrath and we have cypher dragon. And of course, the blue eyes guy, he still got plugs. Oh, he quit. Oh, he won. Woo! That was a difficult duel. That was. Mm. Blue eyes guy, he just scooped it up. Like, dude, like, he still got plays, dude. He has two hands. Blue eyes. Alright, come on. All right, we'll get another duel. Bring it back. All right, got another duel. I really didn't do much in that duel. I just went into Wrath and just kind of took it slow. God, all we got is Predator Plants in this hand. Like, all right, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Oh my God, is it the same fucking guy? Like, I can't remember if it's the same fucking guy, but I really don't feel like dueling against PK again. Nah, we'll get it there. All right, we're back. So, no, no more, not again. Facing PK once, like, that should be a deck that you can only you only have to face it once per day. If you face it any more than that, you'll die of fucking cancer. <laughs> so Tiago back at it again with the whole blue eyes galaxy combo. It's, it's power. Like, holy crap. <laughs> like so many eights, you already know that there's gonna be multiple trade ins. So grab a blue eyes if it grab a galaxy eyes, alright. Probably you special summon galaxy soldier, I assume that. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Galaxy soldier. I'm still wondering I'm wondering if Tiago's still running like instant. I wonder if it's a Pleiades or an Infinity. I mean, it's all good. It's all good. First turn, Felgrim? Is it classic Tiago? No, no. First turn, Cypher Dragon. Okay. 
No, Dark Matter. So, Dark Matter, go ahead and uh, send a whole bunch. You banish five, Taco will go ahead and send five dragons, and you already know. You already know that stone is getting sent. <laughs> no, was it three? Send three? Send three. Send, send three, banish three. Alright. Yep, so both of these are fine. You can go ahead and banish three. I wasn't thinking five. I don't know. Five would be way too much. Not that it's hard. Three is not already too much. Sending three dragons. What the fuck? <laughs> like, Konami just loves making dragons OP. They just love making dragons OP. Tour guide. Hurry band and Crane Crane. Please. That looks like fucking PK again. Or Burning Abyss. Like, some rank three shenanigans definitely will ensue. Like, I'm so... If, I, if it's fucking PK, I'm fucking done. Like, please, everybody, stop playing fucking PK. All right, go ahead. Gaps Expedition, Nova, and Infinity. So. Mm. I'm kind of wondering if Tiago is going to select uh, Galaxy Eyes as his deck for tier three, and he gets draft league. He can. He can't do the blue eyes though. That's that's not legal. <laughs> that's, that's that's two decks crossing over. So none of that. But he can do this, and then there is Infinity. It's that's that one in the league. So one Infinity, but really one Infinity sometimes is all you fucking need because. It's fucking infinity, people. Like, come on. <laughs> At least he's using Galaxy Soldier properly. At least it's not infinity deck. Like, he's running, he's actually running Photon Galaxy, so Galaxy Soldier, yeah, why not? He just happens to be a machine, so. Any level 5, it's not Tiago's fault that he's worked like that, but it's not like he's deliberately doing plays like that. It's not like he's going, like, oh, Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier, you know, Insta Fusion for fucking Panzer Dragon with Zwei and shit. Like, no. <laughs> this is infinity deck. This is Galaxy Blue Eyes. <laughs> Tiago busts out a strong play. Yeah, went plus with it too. Like, opened up with five and ended up with six cards and power flash off it. Damn. Damn. Alright. So, this man's name is Kaito. But Kaito ain't shit to the real Tiago. Like, who the fuck is Kaito? <laughs> it's Kaito or Kite to Tiago. Like, Tiago's got, at least Tiago knows exactly where to stop this man with his plays with Infinity. Like, exactly. Oh my god. See, I, I would usually go on Dare Not Disturb on Skype and I record, but I need to stay because Tiago messages me on Skype, so. Yep. What? Okay, so I guess I should assume that you just opened up butts. Like, wow. Like, it can't be the show about, right? Or something like that? The Pokemon Monster do battle will destroy this card instead. And the card of the field, the Quip Monster, attack becomes zero. Like, hmm. What are. Hmm. This isn't the best, and this card's not the best either. Okay, place. The shape of card leaves the field, place one priority counter on special little monsters. The two are higher, monster pair of countries on level one. Uh, I probably don't need multiple of you. Like, I, I didn't open up too high. Not really. I need, like, Caster or something. I really, really, I would need, like, a Poly, too. Insta Fee, there's a lot of cards I can get. Nearly. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. So, it can't be destroyed by. It would be destroyed by battle. You can destroy the card instead, and then I'll attack you again, so. Oh, I should've did fucking Dark Matter Effect. I forgot to do Dark Matter Effect. Oops. Forgot to do Dark Matter Effect. God damn it, Bobby. I was thinking you would have one. I could've just eaten you. Why don't I just eat you? Cause I'm dumb. Cause I'm dumb. That's why. That's why, because I'm dumb. No, 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 no. I forgot. It's a, it's special. No, it's just attack position monster. It's attack position monster. I could have eaten him. Should have eaten him with an infinity. You should have attacked using my effect. Attack twice the dark matter. I fucked that all up. That was that was terrible, Daniel. I was so concerned with my plays that I fucked up Tiago's plays. Like, all right, Let's set this one card just in case. So, I just swear to Christ, because it looked like this man was playing something, burning abyss, a PK fire, freaking plays. Burning Abyss. Alright, well. I said I didn't want to face PK Fire, so how about I just face Burning Abyss? And you banished your tour guide? What the fuck? 
kind of want to say no to that. What did you do? What did you pitch with Twin Twister? You pitched Skarm, right? What can you just possibly send? Oh, I think that's okay. I'm watching you though. Oh, right, he could send Farfoot. But it's PK. Again. <sighs> Why? PK fucking again! PK fucking again! Oh my god. Oh, they quit anyway. Alright. One more fucking duel. I swear to Christ, it's PK again. I'm killing myself. Be right back. Alright. For goodness sake. Last duel. If it's fucking PK fire again, I'm just gonna go ahead and off myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and commit fucking seppuku habakiri right the fuck now. That's my bad. I guess I could do some rank four shenanigans, you know. Dark bag. I mean, I could go in Ophion, but there's just really no point. Like, yeah, I can go into Ophion. And if it works for both tag partners, that might be good. Especially if tag was already set up. Then fuck you, but outside of that, it might just be best to just go into, like, Castell or Raph or, you know, whatever fits the situation. I mean, it's a rank 4 toolbox for a reason, right, people? If I don't get my freaking Polly, like, where the hell's my Polly all the fucking time? I need my Polly's. Alright, so it's just gonna take it slow. Go ahead and foolish your freaking stone. Summon it. And... Wow, regular blue eyes? Not spirit? That's, that's really surprising. I thought you'd at least gonna go spirit and banish one of his set cards. But nope. Just regular blue eyes. Okay. Okay. More set. More set. Wow. Wow, he opened up shitty then. Shitty. Wow. Oh, I'm not sure if this is much of a threat. I think maybe I'll just attack and then. I guess I could summon these two. If I run to a mirror force, that would suck now, so. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll also go ahead and activate this and grab me my freaking fusion substitute just in case I do off place. So, kinda wanted to just summon summon and go for wrath. I think I think that'd be okay. And if there's back rail, fuck it, there's back rail. Really. That's how I feel in this situation. Fuck it. There's multiple strikes, there's multiple strikes, but Tiago opened up with some spirits though. Like that sucks. That sucks. Alright, there's clearly something back there. Clearly something back there. They, they don't want to play it on that, because they want to play it on my wrath. Strike. Wow, no strike. That is very surprising. Alright, then blue eyes go ahead and attack. Three sets, and nothing is to stop my wrath? Like, wrath will fuck you up, man. Like, you don't want to stop my wrath. Kaido again, so I'm assuming he's playing his Galaxy Eyes again, and I'm not sure how that how well that's gonna go. So gaining life points and but gain you didn't have many units droids, go ahead and summon level four lower galaxy monster. Sage Mirror Sage seems slow. Like it seems really slow. Like I don't know, maybe maybe Tiago's the master and Tiago could tell me, but that seems fucking butt shit slow. So, Alright. More back row. And MST. For my, for my back row. So set back row, but if I set back row, it gets MST. So, alright. So, so they'll just have four back row. I'm not even want to have one. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking General Blue. He came all the way from DBZ to try to fuck with me. Well, not even DBZ, just Dragon Ball, actually. Regular Dragon Ball. So, Tiago's hand is shitty. They got a butt ton of back row. Guess go ahead and pitch one of the spirits, so fuck it. <laughs> yep. So you're just gonna go ahead and summon alternate and get that all good. Four back row. Like, oh my god. And Raph, he didn't get to do anything, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Kevin's running any trap holes or anything. I mean, just basic bottomless trap hole would be great, so. It's up there as one of the top played trap cards, so I, ju I just don't know what Tiago's deck. For all I know, it's really aggressive and it doesn't have room for traps. I don't know. I do not know Tiago's deck. I didn't say, hey, Tiago, let me Tiago, let me see your deck before we start. I didn't. <laughs> nope. Does it banish the monster? Oh, when you fell down. Banish it and leave the fields. No, that's, that sucks for Galaxy Wizard. <laughs> Felgrin and Wrath. I mean, that's, that's pretty powerful for monsters. That's pretty power and defensive. 
Okay, are you gonna use two back rails? We're gonna like attack and you go mirror force and then we go negate and detach to make ourselves unaffected and you go activate again. I mean, fuck it, we're gonna get fucked up anyway. So fiendish chain. Fiendish chain, people. Oh, sorry, flexor and negate, go ahead and hit you for the 28, but then the fiendish chain will then get equipped to us next turn. So Felgren is pretty much useless at this point. <laughs> nope, go ahead and grab that bat. Man, I want to summon Star Venom, but there's just nothing to Star Venom right now, you know? <laughs> like, I want to bust it out when it's time, you know? Because you already know Star Venom will get it in. And they quit. Alright, alright. Alright, we're done. We're done. Fuck it. We're done. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I didn't summon any Trader Planet Tank and Star Venom. You thought I was playing Evil Swarm. I mean, that's the whole point. They're dark monsters. They summon each other. So summon, summon. Go ahead and, and kill yourself. You get the point, you know? And I'm drawing my Predator Plants. It's just they're not that useful at the time. So, yep, you know, uh, we're running the, the Kage Takage, we're running the, the, the we're running Insta Fusion just to go ahead and summon Dark Flare, that dragon, level 4 dragons, Insta Fusion. That's still not it, because I would love to go ahead and like summon the Predator plant, and when it's removed from the field, I get to put all the whole bunch of Predator token counters on, and go into Star Venom, and then attack everybody, that'd be great, but, oh well, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode of Daily Duels. That wasn't the most greatest Daily Duels, but hey, what are you gonna do? We tried. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys tomorrow. Deck profile for Pure Kaiju, and I will be playing the. What am I playing? Crystal Beast Pendulum? Apparently, you guys voted for that, so I'm gonna have, probably have Forever Epic join me, and then we'll go ahead and learn how to play that. Alright, people, thanks for watching.